Eric Darling here with Eric Darling Data. Uh, recently, recently voted the consultant most likely to die in front of their computer by Bear Gut Magazine. So I'd like to thank the uh, the editors, the writers, uh, and all the voters <clears throat> out there, all the all the Bear Gut heads out there who uh, who voted for me. Uh, I think what really pushed me over the edge was when I shared uh, my Windows update uh, notifications, where it said. Uh, we notice that you use your computer mostly between 5 a.m. and 9 p.m., so we're not going to restart your computer. I think that's what really sealed the deal for me. But, uh, you know, I just want to make sure make sure to show everyone at Bear Gut Magazine my appreciation there. Love you guys and gals, all you fine people at Bear Gut Magazine. Uh, so this video is for uh, my dear friend William at Microsoft, and it is to hopefully uh, clarify uh, some details around uh, how I think that uh, thread pool weights do not actually end up in Query Store. So to kind of step through a couple things up front, um, this is Query Store. I have recently purged all Query Store data from here because I don't. Uh, I want to start fresh. I had a little bit of a difficult time clearing that out. There were some really interesting things that I had created in there. But that's okay. Um, what was I going to do? Take a backup. Okay, so that's that. So this is Query Store. It's on. Uh, the capture mode is on. The wait stats capture mode is on. Everything is good to go here. That's Stack Overflow 2013. The store procedure that I'm using to generate thread pool is this store procedure called Thread Pooler right here. And uh, the query in it is written in kind of a funny, silly way uh, in order to do a very specific thing. And that very specific thing is run at, come on, buddy, run at DOP8 and reserve... Uh, eight threads per concurrent parallel branch, which brings us to 24 threads, because the best way to generate thread pool is to generate parallel queries and run a whole bunch of them at the same time. In order to run a whole bunch of them at the same time, we're going to be using OStress. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so this is a freshly restarted uh, SQL server. I just restarted it before recording this because I want wait stats to be buck naked. Uh, we have nine thread pool weights on the server. We have nine thread pool weights because uh, the thread pool is an artifact of both uh, of creating threads, uh, which happens uh, during SQL Server's lifetime. It will create and trim the uh, the, the family of threads that, uh, that that run queries on here. So when you create threads, you hit thread pool weights. Not for a very long time. You can see the max wait time is one millisecond. Uh, and, you know, that's pretty good. That's pretty fast. <laughs> fast threads. Um, it must be using lightweight pooling or something. It must have priority boost turned on to get threads created that quickly. Uh, but so we have these thread pool weights on the servers. So we have a few of them. Not not a lot, though. Fine. Uh, in sys.querystore wait stats, this should be completely empty because I haven't run anything. Uh, weight category two is, of course, the one that would be responsible for tracking thread pool weights. So I have SP pressure detector, my shameless plug for my store procedure here, which is going to tell us some information about CPU pressure on the server. I'm using the remote DAC so that I don't get held up by uh, the, the test that causes thread pool weights, because there's nothing more useless than sitting there waiting for DMB queries to finish. So my server is allowed, oops, I didn't do that very well. I didn't frame that up very well. My server is allowed to use up to 704 threads. We have currently used 39 threads, and we have 665 threads available. Uh, nearly 666 threads available, which would be devil worship, which is the only way that consultants actually get business. So I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't know what the correlation there is. Maybe I should worry about business if I only have 665 threads. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so this is the current setup for this. Um, the way I'm going to be testing things is running... Um, my thread pooler procedure against the Stack Overflow 2013 database. Again, making sure that context is ultra clear here. This is the server we're hitting, SQL Server 2019. And I'm going to be running 150 threads over 20 rounds of executions. So 150 concurrent queries of thread pooler. Um, I used to, I was running this up higher before, but I was getting a lot of timeouts from uh, OStress. And I don't want timeouts. I want queries that hit thread pool, but complete. I don't want to, uh, I don't want like there to be uh, like failed executions getting into the mix and mucking things up. Because like, even though I know query store tracks failed executions, this is a, this is a, this is a failure before anything even happens, right? So like, there's no way that query store would be able to say, oh, you were going to run that query, but, <laughs> but you couldn't get a thread. So like, there's no way to put that together. So I don't want failures. I want 
thread pool. I want contention, but not like timeout, disaster, the usual kind of thread pool stuff that I, I demo. So uh, let's kick that off and get that working. And we're immediately going to see SP pressure detector telling us about thread pool weights. All right, so you can see that we are the 704 threads that uh, we are allowed to use. We have used 755 now. We're at negative 59. So that's a bad time. And we have 17 requests waiting for threads. And that's going to be just about 17 down. Oh, well, wow, more than that. So in the, in the span of time between <laughs> this query running and this query running, 10 extra threads. <laughs> Got on a line waiting for uh, waiting for CPU. That's that's fun. Or 10 extra tasks we started waiting for the thread rather. If we run this a couple few times during the course of um, things going, uh, we're going to see more thread pool weights here and there, right? So we're going to see some. We're going to see them come and go, uh, and we're going to see if we look at uh, O stress first. Uh, we're not going to see anything timing out. When OStress has queries timeout, it gets very, very loud about it. There's all sorts of messages and flooding and going on in there. But um, if we run this, you know, and we find some stuff with this thread pool, come on, baby, give me something, anything, one row, whatever. Screw you, making me look bad in front of my friend William. Uh, what we're going to see over here is something kind of interesting. You know, there's a bunch of queries executing at DOP8 that have 24 worker threads. But then as we get down a little bit lower, uh, we'll see SQL Server starting to force some queries to use lower DOPs because we're hitting these thread pool weights, right? So we'll see DOP7, DOP3, DOP1, and then, you know, whatever. So uh, we can tell that we're hitting thread pool, but we can also tell that queries are f at least finishing, right? Like queries are getting through and eventually completing. So there's that. Great. Wonderful everything. We're going to see as this thing starts executing that weights are going to, or thread pool weights are going to go up on the server. Not constantly because we're not constantly hitting thread pool anymore uh you know it was, it was sort of inconsistent in the pressure detector stuff where like some queries were and some queries weren't but you know we, we see that we from the i think nine waiting tasks that we had before we're up to 616 now so we added a whole bunch of them in you know if we run this we might see some more i don't know i forget so uh whatever this thing has been dragging on long enough oh there's a whole bunch more Woohoo! we hit more thread pool we did our job let's come back over here and look uh, okay, maybe it, has, it hasn't, hasn't quite made it to, the, to that DMB yet. Uh, consistency is an eventual thing, I suppose. So let's kill that, and uh, let's poke around a little bit. Uh, we'll see uh, th th thread pool weights down here. We don't see any weights in here, but in, we, we, don't, we don't see any thread pool weights in query store. And if we run here, we're going to see you know queries and stuff running. We see all sorts of other weights get populated, but nothing, uh, nothing for that weight category of thread pool. So that's a bummer, uh, and you know we will you know we can probably see if we poke through Query Store. Or maybe I mean I hope we do anyway. <laughs> we go look at Query Store, and we go look at top resource consuming queries, and let's view those, and let's see here. Eh, there's there's our top resourcing resource consuming query, and that's from our stored procedure thread pooler, which had 293 executions. Right, so it did a lot of work, did a lot of stuff, executed a whole bunch of times, waited on a bunch of thread pool, but uh, we have no thread pool weights in here. Right? If you look at wait time, query ID 37, you know, there's no uh, wait time, so, uh, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> Give me a break. Uh, if, like, if the query store GUI worked better, that would be probably more illustrative that uh, we, we didn't have any of that in there. So I don't know. Maybe maybe that's a separate issue that I'll that I'll open up. Fix the query store GUI. Get some U UX in the query store GUI. Something like that. User experience points. Tell a tell a user story. Great user story with the GUI. Anyway, um, William, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it uh, helps you in your quest to 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 fix the documentation in the query store wait stats view. Anyone else watching this, uh, you shouldn't have watched it. This video was only for my best friend William at Microsoft. So. You're a disgusting individual. I have lost all respect for you. All the non-Williams out there. How dare you intrude on this special time that we had together. Anyway, it's Friday. So are you. Uh, I'm going to leave now.